Hey everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today we're going to continue working on the changes here in the LEGO City. Uh, we've made some significant changes recently uh, and that involved moving the beach to where you just saw it over there by the boatyard, increasing the size of the amusement park. And after doing that, we came up with some other great changes that involve the campground and some of the buildings here in the residential area. And we are going to continue making those changes because it's going to significantly change the LEGO City. And I think by the end of this video, we're going to be 100% satisfied with the rough draft layout of the city. And then moving forward from there, we're going to be able to start working on some of the details and minifig placements and stuff like that. So we got a lot of work to do because this place is a disaster. Let's get started. So the first thing I needed to do was clear the space for the campground because it's going to be moving here. Now I want to try and do something in the future. I use these really long IKEA tables right here. They're the longest Linman tables that go all the way to here. Now the problem is, is they move. So what I'm probably going to do is take a two by four and cut it to like, I think 50 inches because this is one, two, three, four, five base plates. Sorry, it's five base plates. So I'd cut a two by four about 40 inches and I'd cut two of them. And what I would do is just screw it in the bottom here. So it's like inset five or 10 inches, maybe even a 30 inch two by four and screw it into the bottom here, measure and then screw it into the bottom here so that this gap stays consistent. And then also uh, the tables stay even, they don't move, they're fixed together. And then what that's gonna do is also gonna create a bridge under here. There'll be a two by four coming across here and I'd do one on the other end as well. Then I could put a slim piece of wood in here that's this thick. What would that be? It looks about two by four thickness. Some sort of piece of wood in there. And then I would put it in the middle and it would set on that two by four or sit on that two by four and it create a flush table there I'd essentially get rid of that gap and then these tables they won't move and then what I would do is where these tables connect once again I would probably just use like a little bracket or something and it would fix them all together I want to do that to these tables and I also want to do that with these tables that's going to get rid of slight differences in height so if the table is slightly different of height because uh it's bending in the middle or something like that. If you uh, screw them together using two by fours or metal brackets or something like that, I think it'll work. But I think a two by four starts here and goes to here and is screwed into place. So this thing is perfectly fit, perfectly square. One here, one there, fill in that gap in the middle would be ideal. So I'll probably be doing that in the near future. I don't know when, but soon. So this space over here was five base plates. You can see we need one base plate for a road or a train track and stuff like that. So this campground is one, two, three and a half base plates, leaving one and a half base plates. So this road I think is gonna turn and go this way and the campground is gonna be right here. So essentially we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it over here, the gravel road will go around this way. So I've started making a big mess down here. And actually I've added about one base plate to the size of the campground. So now it's gonna be three base plates by one, two, three, four, five base plates. Uh, before it was three by, or three and a half by four, something like that. This looks good though, it'll be good because I'll extend this road all the way through using the parts and pieces from those two half plates. And then we can park campers along here, along here, and then we can have our heritage uh, blacksmith and also our, our tree there. Then I've got this area that I've got to rework over here and also this area that I've got to rework over here. Vehicles get in the way when I'm doing this stuff. It's crazy. I hope this is the last time that we have to do big serious changes like this so that we can start adding detail to the city. 
We made lots of changes to the LEGO City today. It took a decent amount of time. Moving these things is <laughs> definitely time consuming. As you can see where the campground used to be, we have the police station mock. Also the quickie mart. And then the gas station right here. Probably gonna have to change this to a T so that you can drive in there. Remove this sidewalk here, put some dark bluish gray so that cars can drive through. I do like having the gas station in a position like that, just so it looks like you can drive through and it's more authentic. I'll have to work on some of the refined details once I'm 100% satisfied uh, with this layout. I'll probably keep this area right here for parking for police vehicles, just extra vehicles that aren't driving around the city. You'll see that there's a large open spot right back there. Originally I was thinking heliport, now I'm thinking power plant. I'm not too sure. Huge amount of space for the amusement park. I'm pumped on that. We're going to be able to do our go-kart track in all sorts of detail and maybe add Pirates Barracuda Bay in there along with the water feature. Probably not though. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with Pirates of Barracuda Bay. I like it as the pirate ship. It looks good. Also, you'll see an open spot right here. We can add something small there. Also a crab for some reason. Uh, but we've added a switch track right here. I've got to clean this up and finish the ballasting. But we've added a switch track right here. So now the train track going around the city is one continuous loop. And it's not a double loop going around, uh, doing a full circuit around the train yard over there. I think that just makes a little bit more sense. It tidies it up a bunch and uh, leaves us a bunch of open space. This road used to just come straight through here, but I hate, well, I don't hate, but I, I just don't like the look of crossing uh, train tracks when it's not crossing straight like this here. Actually, it's still a little bit crooked. I'll have to adjust that a little bit, but I prefer having the train crossings when it's straight. It's still not straight, but oh well, I'm going to fix that eventually. Maybe reduce this here and figure out a way of doing that. Actually, if I just straighten this, yeah, if I just straighten that, it should make it work a little bit better and then move it over one stud, I think. Yeah, so it has to be like that. Uh, that leaves us the opportunity to do something here and maybe add some trees or something here. Then we have our campground over here. So I actually added one 32 by 32 base plate to the campground layout. And I've put a whole bunch of trees and stuff here. Maybe I'll put some trails and stuff through there eventually. Uh, spread out all the campers and cabins and some minifigs. Also put the treehouse there along with the blacksmith right there. Definitely have the opportunity to run some sort of creek through here somehow. However, I'm not sure how that's gonna interfere with the gravel road. As far as I'm concerned, the creek has to come off and onto uh, the map, I guess. But what we could do is create a little pond using some trans blue pieces, maybe. I don't know. I think that this was probably the best position for this old school house because it's a base plate and a half. And we have a half base plate along here by this train track. So the garage just consumed that half base plate, which is perfect because otherwise that's sort of an awkward fit. I've just got to do some tile work here so that it makes it look like the cars can drive into their, or the, I guess the residents of that house can drive and park their car. I like the idea of having the graveyard here. I think it's cool because campers can tell, you know, spooky stories about the graveyard and also the haunted house. I'm not sure which orientation it will be. Once I get the haunted house built, that's what I'm building right now. I'll properly position it into this area here. And then we have our other houses, the two custom ones, the Simpsons house, and then some of these other ones. You can see I've added some turns and some exits coming out of the city and whatnot. So I, I really do like that. Uh, all of this stuff actually remains sort of the same. Oh yeah, I forgot. I think I'm going to take all these beach houses and put them up here and then have like the rock edge coming down and stuff like that. And then bring these sand plates down here giving us more room for the beach cabanas and other uh, activities that may happen on the beach. So I think I like that a little bit more than this layout. I didn't change much with the boat docks. I just put some of the boats back up on the table, 
put the black cheese barracuda for there there for right now I'm not sure if that's going to remain i still got to extend this rock edge out so still lots of work to do uh, i just i don't know all this stuff takes a lot of time and obviously we'll work on it slowly over time uh, one really cool thing about all these changes is it freed up a bunch of my sand base plates or tan base plates which is perfect because we're going to build the under sea area soon or deep sea area and we'll probably put that down under here which is going to be just perfect because i need uh, tan base plates in which they no longer produce in order to do that so i'm really excited about that still lots of work to do here in the lego city but i think these changes are really positive i like having the campground here i think it's a way better transition going from like the downtown core with all the modular buildings and skyscrapers and amusement park into the residential area i think it's just a nice transition also adds a little bit of height here with the blacksmith and also the treehouse let me know what you guys think of these changes here by commenting below remember to like subscribe and stay tuned thanks for watching bye for now